Yes. I hope my screen is visible. Okay, Darshan. Okay, let's get it started. Today we are going to uh, discuss about the main method in Java. So we already know what is a main method, and uh, you know that understanding is okay, but we need to do some deep diving. Okay, so we need to understand a bit more about main method so that we will be comfortable, you know, from the interviews perspective. Like if you are facing any interviews and if you get a question from the main method, you should be in a position to answer to those questions. Okay, there are few questions expected from the main method, and uh, I want you to understand the complete picture about the main method. So, uh, we will discuss about this main method for the next two classes, right? So that you can answer any question on top of the main method, right? So, let us start uh, discussing about the main method. The first question could be inside the main method can be like this. So, question number one, okay. One okay, what is the requirement of main method in Java? What is the requirement of main method in Java? Okay, usually we can give one line answers, but before giving the one line answers, we need to understand if our answer justifies the understanding, the justifies our understanding, right? Theoretically, the answer can be what. So we can say that there are uh, there can be you know multiple answers. We can say that to manage application logic in Java, you can use main method, and you, and you can also say that main method is a method where where it is it is going to act as a starting point and ending point to execute all our requirements in the Java application, right? The answer could be simply like this. The answer could be like this. First point can be to manage application application logic in the java application we need main method so what does it really mean so you can write a java program with n number of lines okay your program can be written in such a way that your program contains n number of lines many number of lines so this is the previous example let me remove this example okay so you your program can have any number of classes right any number of classes you program can have any number of classes like class a in our example i am taking class a and i am also taking class b okay it's up to you to write the logic or not but however when you are defining any java classes so the actual purpose of defining a Java class to have our own logics and our own data. So you can have your own properties and own uh, behaviors. It's up to you. So whenever a class is defined, it cannot be defined just like this. However, this is syntactically correct. But the actual purpose of creating a class is what? You will be declaring some data in the form of properties. And you will be declaring some behavior in the form of methods. Properties and, and uh, behaviors will make a complete class it doesn't mean that uh, you cannot have any empty class you can have empty classes it doesn't doesn't mean that you cannot have classes like this you can have empty classes no issues but the idea here is you can have n number of classes no issues you cannot you can have a lot of logics written in a particular class no issues but the execution will always start from the main method right whatever you are defining in the main method that will be executed Right. So here, what is the conclusion? You are managing the application logic in the main method. So whatever the logic that is required, the logic needs to be written in this space, in this in this within the main method to do the control transfer. To do the control transfer, it can happen from the main method. So this is the starting point of the execution. This is the starting point. Right, and this is the ending point. And whatever that you are writing it here within the starting and ending point, that logic will be executed. Right, it's up to you to define which now logic needs to be executed first, and which needs to be executed uh, executed uh, second, and which needs to be executed third, and so on. Yes or no? 
right so same thing i have mentioned it here what it what it is just mentioned what is a requirement of main method to manage application logic in the java application we need main method not methods main method singular okay second point second point valid point okay? to define starting point and the ending point ending point in the to get executor we require main method main method okay, to define a starting point ending point to get executed we require the main method because uh, the main thread so main thread we have been speaking about the main thread for all these classes the main thread will always try to identify what it is going to try to identify the main method and all the logics that you are defining inside the main method will get executed so that's why it is mandatory for us to ensure that at least one main method is available in the java programming language your logic can be with uh, ten thousands of lines or lakhs of lines but there should be at least one main method for the perfect execution because that is going to act as the starting point that is going to act as the ending point within this main method whatever the logic that you are defining that will get executed are we good so far please yes or no in the chat type yes or no in the chat box so that we can proceed further are you able to follow me so far till now come on everyone keep the session interactive only the is answering jyoti yes so many absent is today so the end okay the next to point next to point the valid point okay so you might be uh, facing a question what kind of question you might be facing here so we have n number of classes for example in our application you can have let us go back to this example guys you have class a you have class b right and you have class test okay how does the jvm knows in which class the main method is exactly placed for example you may have 1000 classes 1000 classes how does the jvm knows how does the jvm knows in which class the main method is placed main method is placed in which class how how the how does the jvm knows the jvm is not a a kind of you know it is not a kind of a magical thing it cannot identify itself you as a developer you need to give an instruction in the form in the command prompt that's why we are always doing what we are doing two things here one is we are doing what compilation for example let us say that my uh, my logic is written in the d drive inside d drive i have a folder called java3 okay. inside here i have a folder called java3 inside java3 i have a file i have a file by the name of what file name file name test.java so we have two things that needs to be performed for the perfect ex execution of the java program what is the first thing the compilation compilation is coming into the picture for the compilation we use the typical command word java c space test java and if you observe one thing this compilation command this compilation command it will not check for check if you have placed the main method or if you haven't placed the main method or not compiler is not going to worry about that the, all the the one thing that the compiler is going to do is what it is going to check the syntactical errors for example okay if i remove this main method can you tell me do i get any compilation error while performing the compilation will the compiler is going to throw me any error because i have deliberately removed the main method will i get error if i run this code will i get error in the compilation time or in the run time okay there is no main method now okay i have three perfect classes class a class b and class t if i perform the compilation will i get error or not that's my question will i get error or not if i perform the compilation so could you please let me know if i perform the compilation for the below program
Did I get any error? Come on, I want answers from you. Do we get any error or we don't get any error? Basic question. We have been seeing this question for a long time. On top of few paper form compilation, will I get any error or do I don't get any error? Come on, answer. Come on, everyone. I want. I don't want you to. Ratna Kumar says error. What about others? Good, good Ratna Kumar. At least you are answering. What about Darshini? What about Jyoti? Yes, Samita, Jyoti, and I want. I am expecting answers from you. Okay. What is the typical command for the compilation? Okay, let me change the directory uh, D Java uh, CD space Java. Okay, I have uh, I have just saved this code as tested dot Java. Okay, let me do the compilation Java C space test dot. Right, I don't get any errors. If I do compilation, I don't get any errors. Ratan Kumar, I have said good because you have answered the question. That's why I said good. It's not because you have answered it correctly. You don't get any errors, guys. For till compilation, you don't. A compiler will not look if you have defined main method. If you haven't defined main method, that is not the job of the compiler. Compiler is happy with your code. Syntactically, your code is correct. Syntactically, your code is correct. Compiler will not throw any error. The error comes only when you start performing the execution. Are you getting my point? The error comes only when you start performing the execution. Okay. So, on, uh, from the compiler's perspective, it is no error. If I do the execution, for the execution, the command is what? We are giving instructions saying that, you know, we are trying to load the test class. Okay. We are specifying the class name here, test class. What does it really mean? This is the command for the compilation. This is command for the execution. Execution means main thread will be main thread is going to bond okay main thread will be created jmm will create the main thread this main thread is designed in such a way that it is going to find for the look for the main method it is going to do what it is going to look for the main method this command okay indirectly we are saying inside the test class there is a main method we are saying okay we need to load the class which has main method but in our case okay we did not we did not design a main method or we did not place the main method the moment i give this command we are going to get another main thread not found in the class test please it is asking us to define the main method which we have forgotten or deliberately i remove the main method so the error comes in the runtime not in the compilation time okay the error comes where error comes in the runtime yes or no okay so could you please let me know if I perform? No, we don't get any error. Answer is what? Answer no, we don't get any compile time error because compiler is going to check for any. In Tactical, tactical errors not for the main method you define main method or you don't define main method it is least about it okay you get error only in the runtime so when you miss the main method the error will be in the runtime as follows. Very, very important question in the interview room. Error will be thrown in the runtime as follows. So, this is what the error is. Right? Now, let us do a small manipulation. Let me remove this class, you know. Okay. So, I have three classes class A, class B, and class test. Okay. The file name is test.java. But I am defining the main method in the class B public static void main, right? String array box. 
Okay, now you tell me which is the main class now. I have three classes in my program. Okay, which is the main class now? If I ask you a question like this, what could be your answer? Which is the main class? Don't you think that class B is the main class? Why class B is the main class? Because I have placed the main method in the class B. Okay, but if I do the compilation here, I don't face any issues. But in the runtime, when I try to, when I want to have this program executed, I should I should load the main class file. If I load test class file, if I define test here, it means test class file will be loaded. Dot class file of the test will be loaded inside the JVM. Okay. And it will not identify what? It will not identify the main method in the test class. We will get an error. Main method is not found in the test class because we are loading test class. The thread is going to look for the main method inside the test class. That should not happen. Okay, let me do the other way. Java, Java space A. Now I am loading the A class. Even the A class is not the main class, but I am trying to load the A class, but I will get the same error. Main method is not found in the class A. Even though main method is there in the file, but the class that we are defining here, only within the class, the main thread is going to find if the main method is placed or not. Okay, how can I eliminate this error? I should ensure that I am loading the main class which has, main, which has the main method. So in our case, class B is having the main method. So it is my responsibility to load the class B. Java space B. Now no issues, no errors. Right? So second point. Okay. You can have you can place any number of classes in the java file but the during the execution it's your responsibility to load the main class name as follows okay, very simple java space what is it main class name. that's it okay can i load uh, class a here i cannot load class a here you will get error because class a is not having the main method can i load class b no i cannot load it it is not having the main method can i load class c no i cannot load because I mean, um, in class B I can load, but class test I cannot load. Okay, now let us do this. What if I do this? What if I keep main method in all the classes? Will I get any error or will uh, I won't get any error? Can you answer this to me? Okay, now I have placed the uh, main method in, in each and every class. Okay, inside the class A, I have a main method. Inside the class B, I have a main method. Inside the class test, I have a main method. I have placed a main method. Okay, how uh, this program will be treated? Okay, even though we place n number of main methods inside a class independently. So in this case, class A has at least one main method. Class B has at least one, maximum one main method. Class test has maximum one main method. No issues, I will not face any issues because while doing the compilation and the execution, we are being very specific. We are being what? We are being very specific. Let me do the compilation if we are getting, we are not getting error. So compiler is okay, happy with our code. In fact, it says the code is correct. While performing the execution, I can load any class. No issues. I can load test dot, I mean Java space A also I can load, no issues. Java space B also I can load, no issues. Ideally, the main thread will be created. Main thread will try to get access to the main method of the respective class that is being loaded in the runtime. What is actually happening behind the scenes? Very simple. Let me take this code. Okay, let me go to the paint screen. Okay, this is the paint screen. Okay, this is our code. This is our code. Okay, let us uh, do this in the real time. 
this is our code and I'm opening the folder where this dot uh, java file is getting uh, stored let me remove let me delete all this okay let me save this file you can use any name here it can be a class name class a class b class test you can use any name here because there is no public class if it is a public class it is mandatory to use the public class name since all the class are default classes you can use any name so let us let us save this as test.java okay i am saving this file test.java is being reflected in the in this part okay see what is happening behind the scenes Okay, this is our uh, you know the developers code okay. this has been stored i mean uh, you have saved this file with dot java extension as test dot java okay after saving this file you need to do what you need to perform the compilation because you cannot just execute the code before even performing the compilation so to compiler the command that you are going to use in the command prompt is what java c java c means compile it's a tool compiler space file name dot java in this case test dot java okay the moment you give this command okay, this document this file will be loaded to the compiler and it will perform the compilation okay after compilation it is going to do what it is going to generate dot class files how many dot class files will be generated Three dot class files will be generated. Why three dot class files? Because there are three classes here. So for class A, one dot class file will be generated, right? For class B, one dot class file will be generated, right? And for class C, one dot class file will be generated. Okay. What is the proof? Java C space test dot Java. Go back here. Okay. We have only dot Java file. Okay. After giving this command. Okay, the compilation is successful okay, here you will be seeing three dot class file one is a, a class file b dot class file the test dot class file you are able to see class file class file class file right so after the successful compilation the compiler is going to create generate three dot class files a dot class b dot class and what c dot Class. it has three uh, three dot class file uh, that has been generated right and it's the now it's a duty of what it is a duty of the programmer to load the specific dot class file that has the main method inside the jvm so this is the jvm okay. it's your responsibility to load the dot class file that has the main method but in our case all the three dot class files has the main method yes or no all the files class a has the main method class b has the main method class test has the main method you can load any dot class file i'm sorry this is not c dot class file this is test dot class file test dot class file okay, i'm giving a command like java space test the moment i give this command test dot class file will be loaded inside the jvm you know these things already but since we are dealing with three main methods i mean main classes this will be loaded inside the jvm okay and as soon as it is loaded all the static content will be recognized and executed we know what is the static contents and the main thread will be created okay this is the main thread main thread and main thread will try to look for the main method inside where inside inside the test class file okay? it will look for the main method inside the test class file if it is if it is finding the test class file no issues it will execute all the instructions inside this main method but uh, you know we did not uh, we haven't placed any instructions so that's why the output is going to be empty right ideally the main thread is satisfied because it is able to find the main method right no matter if you define the main method in a different classes no issues it is able to find one main method inside the class that you are you know that you are specifying here it is case test dot class so this is the command that we have used in the command prompt what is the command java space test it means since you have mentioned here test it means test dot class file will be loaded inside the jvm and main thread will be created main thread will try to look for the main method in the test class file 
main method is there so no issues that's why the output is well so this is completely valid i'm saying okay, you can define any number of main method in different classes no issues but you should ensure that the dot class file that you are loading in the runtime should have the main method if you are not keeping placing main method in the test class file for example you have placed the main method in the class a in the class b but you have forgotten to place the main method in the class test you do this you will get an error runtime error because your uh, uh, main method is missing in the test class file because you are loading that file but if you don't want to load that file if you want to load the other file no issues but that class should have the main method making sense everyone yes no come on are you getting this okay now uh, next question okay. syntax so we have been seeing uh, the syntax about the main method for a long time the syntax is typically public static void main right and string array box okay this is the syntax for the main method okay so there could be a question that you can face in the interview room so this is a syntax is this a user defined i mean is the main method is the user defined main method or the predefined main method the question could be do you think that the main method is a user defined one or the predefined one what could be our answer if you say it is a user defined or if you say it is a predefined predefined main method means it has already defined by the java people okay predefined if it is a predefined you are not supposed to give the body to the main method but we are giving the body here if you say that it is a predefined for the for all the predefined methods you can access the predefined method but here you are giving the body for the predefined method body is given by the programmer body is given by the programmer when programmer is giving the body when, you're, when the programmer is giving the instructions inside the main method it cannot be predefined okay, the answer can be what it is not predefined okay then our thinking should be what then our thoughts would move to the user defined method we would say that we would conclude that it is a user defined method because it is not predefined no even the answer is for the user defined also it is not user defined method as well it is not predefined it is not user defined i will tell you why it is not user defined okay if it is a user defined this method name can be anything but you we are sticking to the same method name as main but if it is a user defined instead of main you can give any other name that is not possible if it is a user defined i can give abc i can give xyz right i can give jyoti i can place any name but we are restricted to keep the we are restricted to use the same name as the main you cannot change this if it is a user defined you have to change this but you cannot change this if it is a predefined you are not supposed to give the body but you are giving the body right if you get a question like this you should say it is neither predefined nor user defined it is neither predefined method nor the user defined method because the main method is always a conventional method with fixed prototype and user defined implementation what does it really mean okay you cannot say it as predefined method or you can you cannot say it as user defined method you cannot use both but you can always say that it's a conventional method what does it mean to to be said uh, like conventional method because it is a fixed prototype you cannot change this this should be always like this public static void main string array you cannot change the prototype at the same time 
you as a user you need to define the implementation you need to give the implementation you should use this prototype and programmer needs to give the implementation it is just like you know for example uh, you as a student okay so since you are uh, you know going to colleges every day so what's your actual duty i mean uh, your mind is injected to such i mean to some uh, hobbies so to some habits okay, you wake up at 6 am in the morning generally right and you take breakfast at uh, you know 8 am or 9 am it's, it's up to you right and uh, as soon as uh, you know the uh, one one of 1 pm comes you go for lunch okay and uh, evening what you have some snacks and the night you have dinner okay, these are the ideal things right you will follow the same things every day because uh, your mind is wired in such a way that you are habituated to follow all these things studying or not studying that is secondary thing for the survival you are doing these things right for the survival you are doing all these things waking up eating 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 sleeping waking up eating eating sleeping you can in between uh, these uh, timings it's up to you whether to study or do your hobbies or do uh, whatever you like right likewise you know these are the things that is injected likewise the main thread is created in jvm okay the main thread is created will be created instead of is created the main thread will be created in jvm in such a way that it is recognizing the main method with the prototype with the prototype as follows okay it's up to the developer to ensure that the main method is being placed with this prototype okay because that is how the java people has designed the main thread there is a main thread it was designed by the java people i mean it will be created in the runtime okay? that main thread is going to recognize the main method with this prototype should be in this prototype if it if it is seeing this prototype it will it will it will ensure that okay this is the main method it will identify the main method if you miss something instead of public if you give it as private it will come to a conclusion this is not the main method because that is how the thread is wired that is how the main thread is wired internally this is an internal design it says you you write the main method but how you are going to write follow this prototype and you give the implementation body you give the implementation so the jvm is going to recognize the prototype that is already injected to it making sense everyone this is the these are the internal things you do not have to much worry about this right so when you get a question like uh, do you think that main method is a user defined method or the predefined method okay the answer should be what it is neither predefined method nor the user defined method because the main method is always a conventional method it should want the prototype to be fixed okay it will identify only if it is uh, public static void main and string array aux or else what do you get you will get this error not this error for example let us say that if i am defining a main method like private okay this is not the prototype we are doing the violation this prototype cannot be recognized by the jvm or the main thread okay what happens if I run this code? Java C space test dot Java compilation will not give compiler will not going to give any error. Java space b okay. main method not found in the class b. Please define the main method as public static void main. For one change we have changed the public to private. It is not able to recognize because it says this this is the prototype that needs to be fixed. That's why it is called as what the conventional method. Making sense, everyone. For each and everything, there is a logic behind this. Why it is public? Why it is static? Why it is not running? Why it is void? Why it is main? And why it is accepting string array box? Okay, I am going to explain you each and every keyword. Right? Are we good so far? Type S in the chat box if you are good. Everyone. 
very very important topic because if you understand this uh, you know understanding the future topics are going to be a cake for everyone type i want response from everyone okay good good okay next question what is the requirement to declare the main method as public okay this question uh, will make more sense because every time uh, we usually get this right what is the requirement to declare why we are declaring it public why can't it why can't it be private or why can't it be protected okay and why can't it be uh, you know default okay why it is always public to answer this question you must understand the privileges for example the real time example so there are many public places right so there are many public places in the real time okay so when i say public places it means anyone can access to those places there are no restrictions to the public because it is a public place anyone can access example the railway stations they are completely public you can access till the reservation counter no issues if you have valid ticket you can go inside that is the uh, secondary privilege only people with the valid ticket they can go inside but still you have an access every common man has access to the railway station parks every common man has access to the parks public parks right and uh, you know every common man access to the public hospitals there are so many public places likewise you know java has a scope scope of accessibility okay if we are talking about the jvm jvm is creating main thread okay main thread even though it is a main thread it is just a thread okay we need to we need to ensure that the access is getting available the privileges we are giving the privileges to the main thread to access the main method you to give the privileges it should be open to the main thread right if you declare the main thread as private it means you are restricting the privileges it means main thread is from outside the class it is not part of the current program so if you take this example the main thread has been defined here i mean the main method has been defined in the class b as well as in the class a okay this is part of test.java package i mean default package test.java file okay but jvm is part of a different uh, entity it, it is trying to get access to the main method okay the moment you give if you the moment you remove the scope the moment you remove the scope as private the moment you change the scope to private it means you are you know restricting the access you are not permitting that this method can be accessed from outside the outside the package you are restricting the privileges that's why the main thread the main method should always be public right the one line answer can be right if you get this question then you can say that you should ensure that the scope must be made available to the jvm you must ensure that the scope must be made available available to what available to the jvm and the main thread so that it would get access without any restrictions okay in java the scope is open the scope the accessibility is open to uh, you know every control when you define the method as public it means the, there is no restrictions that's why it is being public okay, how can we understand this programmatically okay let me go back to the uh, pain screen let us take another example okay, i am taking two packages here this is this is the okay, package one and package two okay let us understand that this package is meant for java software okay when you download java there will be some predefined packages predefined files okay java software package 
okay and this is your uh, program test dot java okay this test dot java you have a package like package x y z okay a small java program public class test okay. inside this you have what your main method public static prototype of the main method void main okay very simple public static void main so this is going to be what string array box okay public static void main and the string array box okay this is your program and this is the java software okay inside the java software so uh, there is a design like uh, it is in the package just imagine that this is the package com dot sun dot jvm okay public class this is a jvm class just for the imagination i am writing it like this okay. and again public static void main so these are the internal programs just uh, think like that the internal program to ensure that the main method is getting generated during the runtime okay the program could be uh, written in a different uh, native la native language but uh, for our understanding i am taking it like this okay string array box okay test dot You can now see what is happening so this is our program at start java and this is java software okay let us understand the communication so we know that the compiler is going to come into the picture so i am just taking the compiler like this see after the compilation the jvm is going to come into the picture okay after compilation the jvm is going to come into the picture just imagine that this program is part of the jvm this program is part of what the JVM. Okay. Java virtual machine. Okay. So usually what we do, we load the dot class file to the JVM. Yes or no? Okay, test dot class. Okay, and in the runtime, we will load the dot class file to the JVM. Okay, and the JVM will try to create the main method. Okay, so main method will work on some internal logic. Main method will work on some internal logic. Just assume that this is the internal logic. This is the internal logic for the main method. Okay, so what it is trying to access, it is access, trying to access the test dot main method the main thread is trying to access the test dot main method why do, why it will try to access test dot main method because during the runtime the command that we are going to give in the command prompt is what java space test right test dot main method okay if it ever add to have to access the test dot main method okay the main method that is placed in the test class should be public if it is not public if it is not public Okay. If it is not public, it is like it will be treated as default. Yes or no? It will be treated as default. And we have already studied in the Java packages that you cannot, the default scope is not available outside the class, outside the package. Okay. If you remove the word public, the scope becomes default. This default scope is not able to be accessed outside the package. This default scope is limited only within the package. So that will be an issue. If you do, if you give default, that will be an issue, right? And if you give instead of default, if you give the uh, like uh, private, you give here private. Okay, private scope is limited within the same class. Within the same class, 
okay from outside the class or outside the package the access is restricted so even if you give bracket the jvm will not be able to access this uh, access this main method okay when when you give protected protected is also not possible because protected is within the same package and you can access this by the subclasses but jvm is a different entity it cannot even access the protected because the visibility is low the visibility is low only if you give public it will be able to access from outside the package that's why it is public right making sense so the theory could be like very simple please be informed that to execute java applications jvm must be able to access the main method which is already provided by the developer right in order to access to access main method to access some or main method or to access uh, you know main method by jvm usually first thing is we have to provide the scope to the jvm you have to provide the main method scope to the jvm by declaring it as a public then the access will be granted right or else okay there will be many cases first case if we declare main method as private what is going to happen this we are restricting the scope then main method is available up to the same class java class or the present java class or the present java class not available to the kvm which is available in the jvm software first point second point if you declare main method as a default default means not defining anything okay the main method is available up to the what present package present java package because default scope is available to the present java package we have discussed the things uh, this these things already in the java packages just revise that once again you will get the complete picture okay not available to the jvm which is available to java software third thing okay if you declare main method as protected protected okay they are available up to where they are available to the present package java package and the child classes extended extended in the other packages okay but not available to the jvm which is available to java software the fourth point if you declare main method as public the main the main uh, method is available other packages or the jvm so that it could be 
access and executed that is the reason why the scope of the main method should always always be what always be public making sense if you elaborate this many points in the interview room definitely the interviewer is going to get impressed so this many points that you need that you need to highlight but still again you can uh, you know you can answer it in this way you must ensure the scope must be available to jvm and the main thread so that it would get access without generation you can answer this but at, at again that there, there will be some kind of confusion will be created okay in order to uh, ensure that there are no confusions between you and the interviewer if you elaborate in this fashion definitely you know uh, the interviewer will get impressed right this is the first point have, have you understood why it should be public yes no everyone type yes in the chat box if you have understood you need clarity have you understood why it should be public everyone only darshan is answering what about others please respond okay okay thank you now next thing is i have i think you will be able to answer this question now let me say in java application if i declare declare the main method without public i get compilation error or runtime error can anyone answer this to me my question is i have declared the main method okay let me remove this i have only one main method i am removing the public if i having having uh, having said this if i do the if i try to uh, do the compilation of the execution okay where in which part i will be getting an error compilation time or the execution time is it valid till compilation time first answer this to me is this code is valid till compilation time yes or no do we get any error if i compile this code error or no error if i compile this code will i get any error or no error come on we have seen this in the beginning of this uh, today's class if i do the compilation will i get any error or the compiler will not throw any error please answer everyone why you are in confusion will i get compilation error or not no error there will be no error good good there will not be any error that's that is what our discussion was during the beginning of this class okay i will not face any issues when i compile this code compiler is happy with the syntax but i will face issue when i try to run this code because in the code if i try to load class p okay main method not found in the class p please define the main method as public it is asking us to define the main method as public but here it is default not accepted if i do private not accepted if i do protected i will get the same error you see till compilation i will not face any error but during the execution i will face any error i will face the actual error sorry i am i perform the compilation for two times first place main method not found in class b but because the prototype should be what public Can I conclude it by saying like uh, answer? There will be no compilation error, but the runtime error because the compiler is going to perform the syntactical checks but the jvm will look for the 
main method with the specified prototype as it should always be public static void main main finger a box or else there are could be as follows this is what the error is error right making sense second question next question not second question we have seen so many questions next question what is the requirement to declare the main method as static public we got to know why it is public but what is the actual requirement to declare the main method as static mm -hmm. Okay, my screen is visible, guys. Yes. Okay. Okay, what is the requirement to declare the main method as static? The answer is very straightforward. Uh, let me. Okay. As per the JVM internal implementation, the main method must be. Okay, the answer, this answer is not giving us the much, much justification, right? As per the JV internal implication, the uh, method, main method should be starting. Okay, the answer is, answer looks like it is not perfect. But uh, there is no, I mean, there are no test books which is justifying this question. Okay, so these are the things, these are the internal implementation, okay, that the main method should always be starting. Why? Because see uh, for example we have a class we have a class here right inside this class let me take a method as public void method one okay this method is a non-static method this method is a non-static method so in order to access any non-static method don't you think that i have an option i have an, i have only one option which is what object creation I need to create an object in another class with the help of this object reference. With the help of this object reference, I can able to access this method, any non-static method. Method object creation is mandatory. Right? But if the method is static, if this method is static, public static, void method, if the method is static, do you, do you think that this object creation is required? Of course, you can access this method with the help of object creation. Apart from this, you can directly access this method with the class name. Yes or no? Right? A dot method one. This is also possible. You are able to access this method directly with the help of the class name. This is also possible. Right, object. This is also possible, but this is all. This is highly recommended. This highly recommended. This also possible. I am not saying this not. This highly recommended. With the help of the class name, you are able to access the non-static. I mean, you are able to access the static method. See, during the execution, go back to the command prompt. During during every execution, we are just using the class name. Yes or no? Java space p during execution and one more example java space a execution java space b we are only using the class name it means internally somewhere the logic behind the scenes internal implemented that 
just by using the class name if the main method is non the main method is static okay the execution is happening the execution is happening because we are just using the class name we are not using any object reference here while performing the execution in the command prompt the command that you are using is what java space the respective class name right that's why if you declare the uh, you know method as static okay we are just using the class name internally the code is implemented in such a way that the static method is called with the help of this class name these are the internal things you can just answer it like as per the java internal implementation the main method must be static because it could be accessed just by using the class name and it is implemented internally in such a way that it get accessed by the JVM just by using the respective class name of the main method the main class no 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 need to think much about this these are the internal things why it is like that we should ask the java people that is because there is no proper documentation especially for this particular question i have did i have done a lot of research but i am not getting any answers for this but this answer is much justified okay the next interview question is public static void main string array box okay this is the valid main method the question can be like if i just interchange static public if i just interchange public static to static public is it valid or invalid is it valid or invalid any any idea i mean any uh, like you know any guesses from your side this is the interview question this is valid or invalid any guesses you can guess if you don't know you can say don't know or if you can guess you can guess you can type valid or you can type invalid or else you can say don't know simply but uh, please respond everyone response is not valid okay darshini says no no don't know invalid invalid good 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 guesses okay but this is valid this is valid this is not talking about the prototype as per the prototype you should not worry about this order especially the order of public static this is the access modifier this is the uh, method uh, i mean uh, static this is going to define the whether the method is a static method or a non static method if the order is not mandatory you can define like static public or public static no issues this order can be interchanged there will be no problem proof okay let me change it to static public because both are talking about both are giving the valid definition to a method both are giving the valid definition to a method when you say the method is public it means it is talking about the access when you say method as a static it is also talking about the access but this method can be accessed with this class name without having to be created the, without having the object creation both are talking about the speciality about the method okay this is talking about the method name this is talking about the return type but these two are talking about the method speciality about its accessing accessing nature the moment you go to this if i try to execute this code java c space test dot java no compilation error java space you no know, the main method is in class b no issues i am not getting any error okay let me uh, type something like this system dot out dot print error this is a popular interview question you should answer it like there will be no this will to, to give confusion to you you know the usually draft this kind x y z so this value typically value okay.
you can enter change the base folders of public and static keywords in the main method there will be no errors in the front it is completely valid correct okay. next question okay if i try to do this if i try to move the void from uh, if i try to interchange the void now see what is what will happen okay. this is not accepted <laughs> invalid method de declaration you cannot interchange you can just do the interchanging between the static and public okay after this the order is the return type after this method type please make sure that before the method name there should be a return type or after the return type there should be method type this order should be same what is the order return type followed by the name of the method followed by the parameters you cannot change this order but you can change this order. Public can be static and static can be public. This can be interchange. Making sense? Everyone? Yes or no? Okay. Next next thing is I will just do give the introduction. It is not mandatory to give the orcs here. You can give any name, any meaningful name. You can give any meaningful name. If you are developing the, for example, let us say that Jyoti is designing this program. I can I can give Jyoti here. No issues. Output will be there will be uh, no issues with the output. XYZ. You can give any name. Why you can give any name? We will discuss about that in the tomorrow's class. Okay, for now, okay, it is highly recommended to use A or G S, but again, it is not a compulsion. Okay, you can give any meaningful name. Making sense? Okay, so I am going.